episode six, the fives is back. It's Saturday, 6 p.m. You know what time it is. Blue team, we've got Miguel Sherry, the absolute walling goal, followed by a dynamic Maltese lineup here. We've got Matthew Iris, we've got Thomas Grima, Jamie Camilleri, and Luke Musu. Jamie Camilleri obviously coming off the four goal game performance he put in in his debut, now being partnered with the ever so brightly Thomas Grima and Luke Musu, who are box to box animals and the creative genius of the Milky Bar Kid to rival them on the pitch. We've got an all star lineup on Team Pink, followed with a new goalkeeper, Tindaro Marina, who is stepping in last minute for me to help fill in the numbers. We've got the unprofessional footballer and Justin Jacob Parch. Two Shira boys back together looking to put on a big performance alongside Mark Kutaya and Jair Carlos Lopez, who again also had a very good showing in the last episode, showing he's got techie feet. And we know Mark Kutaya is again similar to Thomas Grima and Luke Musu as a box to box animal. And it's Blue Team to get underway. The creativity of Milky Bar Kid already on display. Little scoop pass doesn't come off. Jair's let his man go at the back. We're 10 seconds in and it's 1 0. What a terrible start for the pink team. Thomas Greenmark, little fox in the box there at the back post, just pounces on the lack awareness there from the start of pink team. Terrible start. Tindaro Marina passes the ball out of play there, trying to find Danny. Doesn't get the ball to me and it does go off the pitch. Me and him's uh, communication is a little bit off throughout the game, but we'll see if we can pick that up as the game goes on. Tim is going to start the game off once again to Justin, into me. I'm going to fake the pass to open up the middle, play it to Jair. Jair gets it out to Mark, who's going to bring it forward. And Jamie just gets in the way there to cut out the ball before it finds Justin out wide, who would have made it an overload there with maybe three versus one going forward. Could have been the all-important goal Pink needs to get back in you can see pink are starting to press quite high wanting that early goal advantage to be gone as musu finds space in behind that's the problem when you overcommit forward all through from justin and just like that a minute in two goals it's a great start to the fives excitement wise for the neutral look at that finish first time little scoop with the inside of the foot just puts it into the top corner of the goal no, nothing the goalkeeper could do about that. Lovely finish, and it's 1-1. That's my first goal of the game. Jair driving forward on the ball, plays it through to me. Got to do better there. I think I was trying to find Justin with the left foot. Probably could have taken a touch inside and gone for goal, but bad decision. Jamie on the ball. Pings the ball forward into space, and it almost finds its way to Tom, but Tim cleans it up, throws the ball into the middle. Justin on the turn. Milky Bar Kid tries to come in and get the ball, but doesn't. And now Mark can drive out of the back, straight through the middle. And Miguel proven again, he is a cat. You need nine shots before you can score against him because he just saves everything at him. You've got to shoot. I've always said to score against Miguel, you've got a fake shot, put him on the floor, and then you've got to sell him one more time before you actually go for goal. I'm caught in the middle there, but Mark is going to clean it up. He's going to carry on with the ball, powering through. Gets the ball out wide to Justin and the attack is restarted all back at my feet here little one two with mark takes it on the turn tom makes an all important interception there and now brings blue team on the attack jamie trying to cut through and find some space but mark makes a lovely recovery to pick up the ball there ball to me i'm going to turn back out give the ball out to tim tim plays the pass out to justin who tries to go long but touches the net as you know in five aside the ball hits the net spot and plate it's either sideline or from the spot Tim makes a good save there and flying effort from Jamie to try and capitalize on the rebound. Karate Kid style there, almost scores a great goal. Ball comes back out to him. Milky Bar Kid on the ball, on the line, looking to try and drive inside. He does so very well. A little bit of footwork, probably a bit too much. Gets the ball out wide to Jamie. And Tim makes a big save there at the near post to deny Blue Team getting the one goal lead again. Jamie on the ball from the corner. Will Blue be able to find the right pass here they've gone wide it finds Tom at the back post he's going to restart the attack back to the goalkeeper they've lined up and that's almost found its way into the goal off the block there Mark makes a good block takes it right in the back and the ball on the rebound really could go anywhere Tom great touch 
pressed well by Mark and Mark does recover the ball for us. Pink team now spinning out. Can he power his way through? He gets the ball to Justin and now Justin can restart the attack. A little bit slower. Jair on the ball using that close control as always. Ball out to myself. I'm going to play that ball forward into the feet and here we go. Pink, we've split the line now and we can go forward with numbers. It's two versus three still. Justin's going to reset the attack. Back to me, I've taken the touch. Probably could have done better to get the effort on target there. It was a great attack from Pink there. We split the press well and then move forward as a team. Very sharp. Blue team on the ball. They found the gap in below again. Tim is on the floor. They can't get the shot away. Jamie finds Milky Bar Kid. And I've managed to block it out wide. Pink just getting caught a little bit too high there. We're attacking so high, but leaving a big gap in behind for Blue just to make one little counter attack. I'm bringing the ball forward. Get the ball to Justin and now we can restart the attack. We do have a very, very box-to-box -box team here, but I think a few of us are getting caught going too far forward, leaving that space in behind and leaving Tim in goal very, very exposed to take on the blue counter-attack. Mark plays the ball across a bit high there for Jair and he can't manage to control it. But you can see here the reaction is a bit slow as blue start coming forward. And right there, that's not a good effort from Jamie and that's gonna go straight to Pink who can restart the attack. Ball played out wide. I've not managed to keep it under control. And Blue have got the ball. I'm gonna get in behind, but Miguel cleans up as always. Plays a nice ball down the line, but it's been intercepted, but he makes up for it on the rebound. Ball comes out to me. And Blue get punished for that mistake there. Failing to clear the ball. A little bit slow on the reaction there. Jair makes a great decision to pass the ball across the box to me instead. I fake the shot just to open up a little bit of space. Wait for Miguel to move and then I put it to the side of him in the near post. And that's my second goal of the game and Pink finally take the lead. Milky Bar Kid trying to create something out wide. Finds a good pass, but Jair does well to intercept. Now Pink just slowing it down, trying to come forward. Poor pass from me. Blue on the ball, but Justin cleans it up. Pink regained possession, but Blue have got it again. A lot of trading possession early on right now. Mark on the ball. It's got to do better there. That's got to be a better effort, but it is spot and play rules. Gets the ball out early and Pink are on the ball once again. A little bit of patient build up here. Now that we're in the lead, we can take a little bit more time on the ball, try and pick out the right pass. Tim tries to play the ball through the line and it gets intercepted by Tom. Ever so reliable at the back, finds the ball to Musu, lays it off. Oh, Jamie. Stop it, mate. Look at that for a finish. Talk about top bins. He has absolutely rifled that into the top of the net. Tim, no chance there. Punished for a poor pass out from the back. And... Uh, it's a great pass from Musu to pick out Jamie, and that's 2-2. Exciting start, 10 minutes, four goals, and, and there's still plenty more football to be played. It looks like we're going to have a high-scoring game on our hands, which we always love at the fives. We are here, and we live for the goals. Blue team playing a nice little pattern of play there through the middle, but it does touch the net, and now Pink can get a chance to counter. Justin does well to turn. Resets the attack to me. Back to Tim. Tim taking his time, plays the ball through the middle. Jair can't control it and it's going to be picked up by Blue at the back and they're going to restart back to Miguel. Miguel on the ball, plays the ball out wide to Luke. Luke plays the ball down the line. Milky Bark has made a great run and just cannot get the ball under his feet there. Just slips out of his control. Missed opportunity, really should do better there. If he can control that, that's definitely a good chance to attack. Justin driving down the line as he always does. Thought he had the right attack there, but blocked and the ball does go wide. I'm going to take the corner. And I'm just assessing my options, seeing if there's anyone to get the ball to. I'm going to go to Justin, he's going to give it back to me. I'm going to try and play the ball. It's going to go out. I'm not really keen on taking corners myself. I'm not good at finding that pass. So I let Justin do the honours and take over. And I'm going to make that back post run that I like to pick up the ball in the space. Justin on the ball, tries to play the ball through, but it gets intercepted. Slow recovery from Justin. Tom on the ball and he recycles the ball back to Jamie. Jamie driving through the middle. Great footwork and Mark does very well again. Mark showing early on already that he is really on form today defensively and we're going to need it because Justin, I can confirm, went to the gym before and you can see Justin not moving as springly as he usually does. He trained his legs and he made that mistake of doing leg day before a game and you see within 10 minutes he is fucked so a little uh reminder to players know your body 
Don't overdo it in the gym before you go to match days or you'll pay the price. You can see how heavy his legs are. Hands on knees already from Justin. But you know what, Justin? He's a big boy. He's going to get through the game and keep persevering and try and give his all for us. And we're going to be very thankful for the effort that he puts in. But will it be costly to us as the game goes on? Obviously, there's still 30 more minutes of football to be played. That's a long time. Matt tries to take me for pace and I'm just going to send him down the line and play that ball through the middle. And look at that one touch play pink when we pop the ball around we do pop it around really well ball out wide to Jair it's got to do well there and he had time to control the ball I think he could have taken time to control it try to get a shot away instead of going for the pass but we like Jair's footwork that's why he's at the fives because he's a good 1v1 player brings the ball out wide to me Matt makes the tackle out wide and that's going to be a pink ball Waiting for the right pass. There we go. I find Mark at the edge of the halfway line. He cuts inside, goes outside, takes the line. Ah, I haven't made the run from there. I should have been a bit more aware and alert. But Tom now on the counter attack, plays the ball across. And I've just managed to get in there and touch it away from Matt before the Milky Bar kid can score. Musu gives the ball back to Matt, though. And Tim makes a great save. Milky Bar kid does well to keep it. Justin takes it off him, though. And now Pink Team can restart the attack. Played the ball through to Mark, who's tried to flick it over with the head, but it's gone just out of play. Milky Bar Kid on the ball. Dinks it over towards the back post there. Musu maybe could have shot there, doesn't. And now we get a chance to break. It's 2v2. Justin tries to play that pass. It's a little bit lazy with the back heel attempt. And just like that, countered blue team. That's Jamie's second goal of the game. Not sure about Tim's positioning there. You can see he's a bit too much over to one side. And Jamie, I think, looks up and sees him in no man's land and decides to punish Tim for being out of position there. And that is 3-2 to blue team. They've regained control of the game. And just like that, we've given away the ball again. Not like this. It is a goal. Cameraman not quick enough to catch Tom with a good finish there. But blue have absolutely capitalized on a shit kickoff from pink. And just like that, we've gone two goals down. It's looking a little bit worrying for pink team now. You can see the energy starting to get sucked out of our uh, attacks here and body language isn't looking good. Great little shift there from Jair, but his right-footed effort isn't the one. It doesn't get on target. And now we're under pressure once again as Tom drives through. Jair does well. Jair does very well. And lovely little footwork to then escape the pressure. Pink team on the counter. Gets the ball out wide to me. And that is a great block from Musu. Jair recovers the ball and is going to look to restart the attack. Tries to thread it through to Mark, but they're not on the same wavelength. Blue pick up the ball and now Miguel is going to start the attack once again. Gives the ball to Jamie. Jamie goes through the middle to Tom. Tom out wide to Musu. And that is a lovely ball. That would have been goal of the game for sure. What a through ball. Delicate, just below the net. No touch of the net there. Matt does well to take it on the volley. And Tim does a good job to deny what would have been goal of the game there. Mark gets denied. Denied again by the crossbar. Two efforts, can't score. Jamie plays it across. And just like that, when you commit too many players forward, you get hit on the counter-attack. Jaya, nothing he can do about that. 2v1. Got to feel bad for Tim there because, again, he's put in a good performance so far. Definitely doesn't deserve to have five goals in his net but we don't capitalise our decisions up front and we get punished. Blue team, three goal advantage now and it's looking well out of our reach. We need to make sure we go into damage limitation here as Justin lazily gives the ball away and that's it. We're just not on the same wavelength. We're slow to mark and blue team are just going to slow that game down now. They don't need to rush things. They're three goals ahead. Can look to build on that and just get one more goal before the half to round it off. And just like that, it's too easy, man. Too easy. One pass, people walk in. Musu makes the one two, just goes in behind the defender, making that third man run. And it's as simple as that. Four goals now. Pink team need a quick response because this is not looking good. Mark trying to make it through, but we've lost the ball. And again, as I was saying, just like that, you can find yourself being counter-attacked as Milky Bar Kid struggles to control the ball again. So close, just an inch off of his toe there. Otherwise, they would be through on goal again, just like that. Two passes in there behind the defence. It's way too easy for blue team right now. Mark drives forward, plays the ball into me. I've miscontrolled the ball. Mark's done well to 
to regain possession now. Cuts inside. Lovely little finish there, Mark. Showing why he's an important player at the fives. Look at that. Little step over. Sells Musu. Cut in on his left. Sells that he's going to go for a power shot, but just lifts the ball over the trailing leg of Miguel there. You see in the slow motion, it looks lovely. Milky Bar Kid standing Justin up, but Justin does well to make the block. Jair on the counter attack now. Drives on the outside. Creates a great save. Great save there from um, Miguel in goal. Keeping his team at three goals to the good. That's a free kick there, as I've done well to shield the ball and draw the foul. Ball played into the middle to Mark. Mark plays it out wide and just like that, little one-touch passing. We've managed to open up Blue Team who switch off momentarily and just like that, a four-goal lead has been halved to two goals. Mark on the score sheet again and now there's two goals that's much more doable. We're looking like we're going to hit the last attack of the half here as we're past that 20-minute mark. Ball goes out of play hasn't been alerted yet to the cameraman cameraman hasn't told us we've gone over the allotted time yet game really should be done here but we're playing on because we haven't been given the signal Jair on the ball resets the ball to Justin Justin plays the ball through to me I've tried to sneak it in the near post and I've hit the post with the one-time finish so close and blue team are going to restart we're one minute over time now blue team going to feel a bit hard done by if there's a goal scored now pink team will feel also the same as the ball's blasted up and over, high wide and handsome. First. And now you can hear cameraman's told us, OK, right, we should be finishing, but the game has restarted, so we're going to play out the final attack of the half. Ball played out wide, played across. It's going to go off the pitch, but Tom's going to keep hold of it. Has he kept it in? He hasn't. He hasn't kept it in. We should be stopping here, but for some reason the game continues. We are 1 minute 30 over. Mark on the ball. Goes through three or four players. Takes That's the ball attack. off him. It's and finished. robs Musu. Gets the nutmeg there. Look at that. Just robs it off him. Puts it through his legs and blasts it nice and high into the top corner. Third goal for Mark of the half. First half hat-trick. And that reduces the deficit to 6-5. Controversially, must I say, blue team definitely will be a little bit frustrated going into the half, losing that four goal advantage. Three goals scored in a matter of minutes to make it a one goal lead for Blue at the half time mark. They will be very, very aggravated if the game is decided by one goal and we look back and see that uh, the footage shows that we are past the time. Anyway, we get the half underway. The scoreline has not been updated in the top hand corner there, I will say that. So just be aware that the score is 6-5, not 6-4. Uh, blue team are getting the game underway here. Miguel Sherry on the ball, passes it to Tom. Tom tries to find Milky Bar Kid, but he's not able to control it. Very hard pass into his midriff there. He does well to try and control it anyway. I'm going to restart the attack for Pink here. Little roll to Justin. Justin does ever so well to spin off there. You're going to see Justin with a little bit of energy to start the half off as he's had that 10 minute break to regain some energy after that first half performance there. Still a bit heavy on his legs, but again, a little bit of break can just help you rejuvenate some energy as I've lost the ball, been pickpocketed by Jamie there. Keeps it in, well done from Jamie there. Gives it to Tom and that's a good save. Hasn't gone out of play though. Jamie can try and mount another attack. It's gone out for a corner and Jamie will take that corner. Tom is giving him the option short. He's played it across to Matt and Matt just cannot get there. Maybe if he was a few inches taller, he could control that, but he doesn't. Jair, lovely little footwork, forces a kick in. Ball switched out wide to Justin. Justin on the ball, plays the ball through. The score has been corrected now, as you can see in the score line. So it's 6-5. Matt on the ball. A few step overs. Manages to worm his way through, but Mark at the last second manages to get a vital touch. Justin on the ball. And a few little one-twos and they've escaped the danger there. Justin drives through the middle. A little bit of spring in his step again. He's been intercepted and he kicks it into the roof of the net. Blue ball. Matt plays a nice little back heel there to Jamie. And I've managed to stop the ball from going into the goal. Goal line block there. But again, you just see that switch off response there. As soon as they get that free kick, the second we stop, it just allows them to take it quick and play smart. And they almost score and get a two goal advantage there and double their lead. Thankfully, I was a little bit alert and managed to get in behind to stop it. Mark on the ball now, 1v1. He's got to do better than that. He keeps control of the ball, plays it across. 
No one is there. Justin's done well to try and keep it on, but he's lost it. I've told him to use a little bit of game management here and stop them going forward. I've intercepted the ball. Ball comes back out wide to me. Oh, lovely little step over. I've sold him. Ball across to Jair. And uh, maybe a little bit too high and a little bit too heavy. Jamie's done lovely there to get through. Justin just cleans up at the end and lovely little footwork to escape the pressure and get the ball out wide. Jair again showing his footwork to escape trouble. Gives it to Mark. Mark cuts in, starting to drive through the heart of the defence there. Gives it to Justin. Flick towards the back post. It's not the right pass there. And Blue will come back at us now. 2v2, 3v2 with Milky Bar Kid coming through. Great save from Tim. Now Justin is all alone by himself. Gives the ball across to me. I take the shot early. That is high, wide and not at all handsome. Not a good shot there. Jamie picks up the ball at the back, driving through the middle. Comes out wide, gets the ball across to Musu. There we go. Now we've got a counter-attack on. Heavy touch from Mark and Thomas Grima. Again, Mr. Reliable comes and picks up the ball. Little bit of flair there from Miguel. Love it when a goalkeeper gets involved with the skills. Little back heel pass to Tom. Tom's now driving through the middle. Can't get the pass away. Justin intercepts. And now that is a counter-attack from Pink. Can we make advantage of it? Tom again with a vital block. Stops Mark getting the finish. And just like that, Blue now come forward with the numbers. Milky Bar Kid keeps the ball. Driving inside. Plays it across to Musu. Musu's going to reset the attack back across the box. I've come in and intercepted it a bit too heavy there. Could have got the ball to Justin, but just too heavy on the touch. Miguel sells with a fake pass there. Gives it out wide to Tom, who's going to come and try a strong shot there. But it goes high and wide. Tim restarts the attack now we're in the corner looking for a way to get through the middle side to side play ball comes out wide to me i just can't stretch to get it you can see how tired i am as well feeling the effects of how fast this game is right now fat danny still needs to lose a few kilos before he can keep up with this pace and musu just drags the ball wide there looked like he had a good chance to score and that would have been goal of the season for sure if that goes in self-assisted bicycle kicked attempt love the aerial ability there and the athleticism from jamie to get the ball away good from musu there to put the ball through my legs to get jamie another attempt but it doesn't go in and now Pink Tim can counter-attack Justin on the ball and he's been robbed. And as you can see, if Justin's feet weren't as heavy as they are, I think he scores these chances. You can see hands on his head. He doesn't know what he's doing wrong here. But that gym session really paying its uh, taxes on him now, taxing his body and showing that he can't move his feet as quick as he wants to. Pink probably should be 6-6 at this point. Trying to create that attack to get back into the game. Lovely save down low from Miguel and Jamie's going to keep that ball in. Lovely ball forward into Milky Bar Kid. He just can't get it under control and I'm going to bring the ball out. Play it through the middle. It's intercepted. Not a good pass from me there. Justin picks up the ball and luckily saves my ass there. Cleaning up the loose ball and the ball comes back to me. Played through the middle to Jair. Jair picks the ball up in a nice little bit of space here. He's 1v1. Can he take him on? He does. He goes round, plays the ball back. Nice little back heel. Opens up the space. Justin tries a shot. Miguel's going to be quick to pounce on that, though. That's not going to be good enough. 12 minutes remain. Pink need one goal to get back into the game. Lovely little step overs laid back to me. Left foot lets me down. It's not good enough. No power, no accuracy. And now blue team get a chance to go forward. Miscommunication leads to the ball rolling out of play. Just like that, pink on the ball again. We're doing well to keep hold of possession. We're just not making the right choices in that final third and getting the right shots on goal. Lazy efforts in the final third are the difference right now. Blue team being a bit more clinical and obviously Miguel Sherry proving uh, an ace up their sleeve as always, making that last line of defence so hard to penetrate. Pink team, patient build-up. I think we're all feeling a little bit tired here, trying to earn a little bit of energy back, just get blue team out of position tactically moving them side to side loose ball there from Tim I managed to pick it back up and go back to Tim and now he's going to try and go forward but poor pass blue team quick counter Jamie on the ball out wide to Milky Bar Kid tries to play it across it's a poor pass from Matt there he can do better and he knows he can do better you can see from his face he's getting frustrated from his own performance Milky Bar Kid is turning into the Sour Patch Kid and uh, he gives the ball back there you can see Matt one of his uh, kryptonites is 
when things don't go his way, he does let his frustration get the better of him at times. And you can see just from his body language, he is uh, in his own head right now. Needs to get a little bit more confident, get some good, simple actions done so that he can get his confidence back up. On the ball, takes a shot, and that's a good save from Tim. All back out wide to the Milky Bar kid. And we restart the attack. Milky Bar kid on the ball. Justin makes a good tackle but hasn't got a hold of it. Jamie on the ball now. Resets back to Tom. Tom plays the ball through. Jamie Camilleri trying to shuffle the ball onto space to shoot. Can't do it. Jai is going to carry the ball forward now and help us out of danger. Matt does well to make the block. Justin resets the attack to me. Played across to Jair. Jair turns into trouble. It's now 4v1. If they can make advantage of the attack, it's a shoe-in goal, and Justin makes a vital header there to stop the ball hitting the back post where the blue team were waiting. And just like that, Milky Bar Kid is back. Little good movement there to get into the space. Left-footed attempt, first time, catches the goalkeeper out early and sneaks it into the near post. Good goal from Matt there. And uh, that's two goals in it again. I'm trying to shuffle a little bit of space here. I've done well, and that last pass back just can't get through to me. I've still got the ball and fashioning a chance. Just blasted it over with the left foot. Tried to get a bit more power after the weak left foot before. I just need to work on that left foot, get some consistency back, because that could have been a great opportunity to get us back into the game early, but eight minutes left and it's a two goal deficit. Can Pink get back into the game or will Blue run away with it? You can see Pink team starting to get tired here. The response every time the ball goes out of the play is walking, hands on the knees. You can hear the heavy huff and puffing. Players are tired. I've made some space here, gone in to go get it. That's a nutmeg from Tom and we've collided like two cars crashing head on. We're going to pull it back for a free kick to blue team. Probably could have let them counter attack, but I think they uh, wanted to make sure I was OK. Obviously, Fat Danny is not in prime fitness right now and very injury prone. So uh, they make sure he's all right and blue team are going to restart the attack. Get the ball out wide to Tom. Tom plays it out wide into the corner and Milky Bar Kid gets his hat trick. Third goal of the game for the Milky Bar Kid. Clever fake shot there, just stops on the ball, pauses. Tim gets caught in no man's land as he starts backpedaling, he's off balance and that allows Milky Bar Kid just to slot the ball into that space and get away with it. Ball wiggling around left and right there, trades possession a few times, Justin on the ball, gets a shot away and it's blocked and now Tim does well to come out quickly and take the ball away. It's a three goal deficit though and it's looking out of reach for the pink team. Not doing very well, Justin plays the ball forward. Jamie makes a vital interception, Mark on the ball. Gives it to me, I play it to Justin. Blue team doing really well to swarm here. I've turned out, sell Matt with a fake shot and Matt two-handed push and just like that again, two cards colliding. Absolutely shoves me with full force into Thomas. Almost headbutted him and that could have been fatal. He did apologize for it and that was a bit cheeky from the Milky Bar kid, but I'd expect no less when he is known as the Sour Patch Kid when he puts on his evil streak and uh, they escape. A dangerous attack there by uh, committing the foul and the free kick goes nowhere. A few counter attacks later and ball just is a little bit higher for me there. I can't get a hold of it. Ball played out wide to Jamie. Plays the ball into the corner to Tom. Tom plays it back into the middle. Jamie coming forward. Milky Bar Kid does well, lays it back off to Jamie and Mark makes a vital touch there to just touch it away from Jamie's feet. Ball on the sideline. Can Blue find a pocket of space in the middle? They have, they've got it to Musu. Plays it out wide to the edge of the box there to Tom, but he can't convert. Tom's going to use his strength here, trying to keep hold of the ball. Mark does well to intercept it. Carry the ball forward ever so well, like he always does. Mr. Reliable on the ball. Gives the ball back to me. I'm going to play it across to Justin. Justin bringing it inside, outside, and it does go out for a side ball. Look at me at the back post. I want it. Justin tries to catch the goalkeeper out, hits the post, but just like that, we're in trouble. 2v2. Tom brings it out wide. Milky Bar Kid plays it across to Tom. It's got to be a goal, and just like that, I've managed to make a goal line block. Something I'm getting quite used to doing, playing that last line of defence and recovering for the goalkeeper. Almost catch him on a counter-attack. But Tom does well to get back in time. I've sold Tom and I've just done a heavy touch there that takes it out of play instead of skipping the man. Blue team, look at Justin, hands on his knees. He is struggling. 
We need Justin in the game. Justin picks up the ball, plays it across to me. I'm going to line up. And I've dragged it wide. And it's looking like with one minute and a half left, Pink Team are out of this game. Ball played forward. Miguel does well to intercept and read that play. Milky Bar Kid on the ball. Gets it wide. Passes it across. Jamie on the ball. Lays it off. Tom, Milky Bar Kid. Skips him. And there we go. I'm there again to get it. I'm looking for someone to pass the ball to. I've got no options. Try to play it through the middle. It's been intercepted. Poor pass. Jamie on the ball. Punished. And I'm on the floor exhausted. Jamie scores his hat trick. It's his seventh goal in two games as he blasts it into the goal to see off pink team. Four goals to the good. I think that's game over. Playing for a little bit of pride here in the last few seconds. Mark tries to play the ball across. It's going to be a goal kick. Blue team restart the game before the 40th minute. So here we go. We're into stoppage time now. Pink team not even defending anymore. I've picked up the ball. Last attack. You can see how tired Justin is. We've been told last attack on the ball here. Blue team know they've won now, so they're not defending. Milky Bar Kid is just chasing shadows. Justin plays the ball across. Mark gets a little bit of pride back there. Scores his fourth goal of the game. 3v1 up front. You'd expect no less but a goal there. But 9-6 is the full-time score. A little bit too late for us to try and mount a comeback. Pink team, I think fatigue just kicked in towards the final stages of the game and blue team just working like a well-oiled machine, countering us play after play and being clinical in front of goal. Tim did well to try and keep out as many goals as he did, but unfortunately when you face that many efforts, it's inevitable that you're going to concede goals. Pink team need to go back to the drawing board, put together a few ideas and not train legs before the gym. When we're considering man of the match, there's one player that comes to mind for me. I think after the last game, he probably had a case of winning it in the last game alone, just for four goals, but comes back for his second episode, proves that wasn't a fluke, a hat-trick in this game as well. Man of the match is going to go to none other then Jamie Camilleri is going to be the choice for man of the match. You're going to see his graphic pop up soon. There we go. Jamie wins man of the match for game six of the unprofessional fives. When we talk about goal of the game, there were a few goals in contention. I personally thought Jamie Camilleri's goal where he nailed it from the edge of the box into the top corner was a real contender. But I went to an external committee to debate which goal they thought would be the best goal of the game and they have decided that the goal of the game was scored by me it's the first goal I scored of the game we're going to take a look at that replay now and have a look at it in the slow motion too and get better angles of the goal so roll that tape let's have a look at the goal of the game Justin picks up the ball plays a nice ball through the middle we're 1-0 down at this stage it's one minute into the game we want to come back fast just to reduce that deficit so that we're not chasing the game for too long you can see Justin just opens up lets the ball roll across his body you can see his head is up me and Justin have a very good understanding of where we're moving his head is always up waiting for me to make that run I've made that movement in between the three players he played it to me I've seen the bounce coming in judged it well just flicked it with the inside of my foot past Miguel into the top corner lovely finish lovely goal and that got us back into the game that is the goal of the game and just like that, we're going to have a look at some of the stats of the game now. So we're looking at uh, three goals are scored by Jamie, the man of the match, who also takes home the three assists from the game, which makes him the highest scoring player of the game by a country mile. 17 points on the board for Jamie, 10 points on the board for Matthew and Thomas. And I'm going to be the highest scoring player for Pink Team, picking up nine points after being awarded goal of the game. Mark Kataya in close second place for Pink Team with eight points after his four goals. Uh, saves wise, Pink team just didn't really get shots on goal. Miguel Sherry, usually in the 20s, only makes 10 saves that game, whilst Tindaro Marina makes 15 on the opposite side. Uh, we're going to see how that affects the full-time leaderboards. So looking at six games played now, we've got 10 goals scored by Justin, 10 goals scored by Danny. We've got seven goals, three players tied on seven goals right now. Jamie Camilleri, Mark Kataya and Matthew Iris all making a final surge to try and overtake myself and Justin at top spot. Justin sitting comfortably 
on top of the assist leaderboard now with eight assists alongside Musu. They've overtaken Pav Zerpa. Pav sat on seven still, but only from two games. If Pav can get a game before the end of the season, he might be able to increase his assist tally. Uh, Thomas Grima is a very well-rounded player, actually, looking at his stats so far. Four games, six goals, five assists. He's sat on 24 points for the season so far, and that's only in four games. He's got six points per game, which is one of the highest tallies so far. Very, very good performances from Thomas so far. If we look at the MVP table at the moment, we've got Justin sat in top position, then Miguel Sherry, followed by the unprofessional footballer myself, Luke Musu in fourth, Matthew Iris in fifth. And Jeremy Camilleri making a surge up the table. In two games, he scored 25 points. We're going to have a look at the points per game because that's something that's going to be quite interesting to see now. Obviously, there's a few players that have only played one game. Someone like Dejan Vela, the young goalkeeper that took part in episode two. He scored 18 points in one game and is still sat on average at top due to only playing one game. Jamie on two games, has managed 12 and a half points each game. Matthew Iris also proving creative wizard with three games, averaging 11.67 points per game. He's on 35 points for the season in three games. Unreal performances from him. Miguel Sherry and Justin also sat comfortably in top position there in the points per game positions if you look at players with more than five games as Miguel has 11.4 and Justin has sat on 11.17 points per game now if we look at the win percentage column quite an interesting stat is that there is only one player remaining in the series now after that game Justin let his win streak slip beneath his fingers in that performance there as Miguel now sits alone as the only player with a 100% win percentage who's played more than one game that is absolutely unreal Will he remain undefeated throughout the entire series? That is a question that we will find out as weeks to come. I will see you guys next Saturday for episode seven of The Fives. It only gets more and more exciting as we go. There are four episodes remaining of the season. We're going to stop after 10 episodes for season two. An unsigned season will be over and we'll see which players are getting signed coming into the next season. So, Guys and girls, if you've enjoyed the episode, please leave a like on the episode. Comment down below if there's anyone that you would like to see in the fives next season. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Unprofessional Fives content and get ready for the Unprofessional Footballer podcast coming back to your screens this May. It's in recording at the moment and we will be going live towards the end of May with the start of season two of the Unprofessional Footballer podcast. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and I will see you next week at the Fives for more high-octane five-a-side football.